Hello and welcome to learn image processing using MATLAB for beginners. In this tutorial, we look at the low pass filters in the Fourier domain using MATLAB. So in the previous lecture, we saw that we needed to perform certain operations like taking the log of absolute value and then finding the maximum value and then using IM show with the unsigned integer to see the FFT and F IFFT images. Now let us create functions to be able to display the FFT and IFFT first. So I'll just say new function. Since I do not really want an output, I just want these images to be displayed. I'll call the function FFT show. The input would be my F. Now the first step is to take the log value like we saw in the previous lecture. Find out the max value. Then I'll just display this using I am show. This has been covered in the previous lecture, so in case you have confusions, you can just fall back upon those lectures. So I'll just save this. I'll make another function to see the output of the inverse Fourier transform images. I have to show the in input would be f. Here I have to first find out the absolute value of this, find the max again, and then I am show f1 divided by fn. Again save this as I have to show. So now my functions are made. I will first read my cameraman image. Now I will just perform the Fourier transformation on this. Now if I say I am show f, this is how it looks like. But now we have another function that we have created to be able to see this properly. So I will say I have FFT show and the argument is AF. Missed out a bracket here. Save it. So this is how my Fourier transform image looks like. Now I want to apply a low pass filter in this. So falling back upon the previous lecture again, I will create a circle. All this comes from the previous lecture. You can just go through it again in case you have problems. So here we've constructed a circle with the radius z because x square plus y square is equal to z square here. Now I make a circle here with the limit of 15 radius. Now to apply this we know that convolution in this partial domain is a simple multiplication in the Fourier domain. So I am just applying the Fourier transformation. So I have AF here individually all the elements I multiply with C. Let's see how this looks like. So you can see I have a convolution of my previous image and this filter. Now let's see how my inverse Fourier looks like. So if I do the inverse Fourier transformation on AF1 I can use my function IFFT show on this value to see the result. So you can see there's a lot of ringing effect here. This is because my low pass filter had a very sharp cutoff of 15. Let's try this with a different value. So I can say maybe I reduce this size to 5. Again perform the same operation. So I have a smaller one here. So you can see the blurring is more pronounced here when I use a smaller circle radius. I can increase the size of the radius. Maybe I take it to a, say 40. Again apply the same operations. So that's my radii now. Let's see how this looks like. So you can see the ringing effect is still there but it's a little less blurred. We can use the Butterworth filter to remove this ringing effect. We will see that in the next turn. So this brings us to the end of this lecture. Thank you.